Okay, everybody, how you doing? So we're doing another video. My son is the cameraman again, my youngest one. So we have different lip mint stethoscopes. I like lip mint. I believe they're the best. You can ADC, whatever scope you use, that's fine. As long as you like it, you're comfortable with it. So I just wanted to show you how you should technically use these scopes. So I got the Master Class, Classic 2, all black edition. If you're a student and you're learning how to use these, whether nursing, home health aid, medical student, you should always know how to position your scope. So you always push the ear pieces out. Then they rest in your ears. You should always test to do a light tap to make sure you can hear it. Because if you tap and you can't hear it, you have these ear pieces placed wrong. And you can't use something if you don't check it first, okay? Now, I'll just show you quick placement. You could use, listen to the APCs up here, which are the top part of the lungs. You go down, listen to the mid axillary, then down to the bases. All right. I'm not going to show you actually how to do it by using an S uh, diagram on it, but I just want to show you quick placements of it. The other scope I do have here is the Classic 2 or Black Edition. Same thing I always tell you. These things you see, home, these, these go into the oxygen regulator. These are right. These are nothing but washers. They help uh, the oxygen not escape when you use the oxygen regulator on the tank. Sometimes we do put these on. You know, if you looked at my other videos, you'll know I'm a paramedic and also a registered nurse. So that's why I keep these on my subscopes habit. Same thing. Make sure the air pieces are out. I always want to touch the diaphragm. Make sure. I that I can hear in my ears. If you do want to use the back part, if you'll see here, I rotate it to where this is open. Now I can listen to the back. Okay. And I can listen to low pitch sounds if I want to hear heart sounds. You can use the diaphragm for it also, but you can use the back of the scope also to listen to the heart sounds. So if you want to do ape to man, the way you hear the PMI, you can use that. I prefer to listen to heart sounds with the back part of the skull, the bell versus the diaphragm. If you want to step up your game and you got some money to spend, at least $200, you get yourself the master cardiology, best of the best. You get the one with the acoustics, which is a little more, run about three to 400. All right. You can get the, the 26 or 28 inch length one if you want. This is the shorter one. Same thing, make sure my earplugs and my earpieces are out. Do a little tap on it. All right. Now, the acoustics are much better on this versus the other two because this one is more expensive. And like I said, I prefer Lipman over any other scope. That's just my preference. If you use ADC, that's a good one. If you get the, the cheapest one you can find for now and then work your way up, that's even fine, as long as you know how to properly use it. So make sure the ear pieces are out. If you put them, push them back in like this, when you go to listen to them, what's gonna happen, they're gonna be in the back part of your ear, you won't hear anything, so they have to be pushed out. And thank you for watching, you can also subscribe.